Hi guys, this is Abby from Witchcraft Criminal History. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Well, today I'm doing a video in response to something which was on the news. I heard on the news that Notre Dame burned down, which is really, really sad. And my, my thoughts definitely goes out to Paris, you know, at this time because it was a beautiful building. I've actually been to Notre Dame. I've been to France and been to Paris, and I got you know fond memories of it. And my brother lost his um camera at Notre Dame. We don't know whereabouts he lost it, but he lost his phone at Notre Dame. And it was a beautiful, beautiful building, and it's a shame that it is now, you know very badly damaged and this is definitely a sad time for humanity in general in regards to the matter history the history of this place if walls can speak what could the walls of Notre Dame tell us probably could tell you a hell of a lot it was standing for about 800 years that's a long time for any building to be up. Yeah, it would have went through the famines and all that. Probably witnessing the plague when they came around. Same with tuberculosis or consumption it was called. Cholera outbreaks. It would have been there. It would have seen... The city at war, it would have seen World War One. it would have saw the invasion of the Nazis during World War Two. And, you know, if walls could speak. So it was really, really sad. And it was a bit of a shock when I heard that Port, that Notre Dame was burnt. That there was a fire in Notre Dame. But the only grateful thing was that even though they think it... Even though they don't really know exactly what caused the fire in Notre Dame, they do not think that that there was foul play. However, if there is foul play, you know that is sad. You know, that's what a lot of people say. What's Paris without without Notre Dame? What is France without Notre Dame? You know, it is iconic. Like, there's three main buildings in Paris that screams Paris. One is Notre Dame. The other is Arche de Triomphe. And the third is the Eiffel Tower. All of which I've been in. I've climbed um, the Arche de Triomphe. And... <laughs> If you want to work out, go to the Arch of Triumph. <laughs> and I, I've also been right to the very top of the Eiffel Tower. No way I'm climbing up the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Nada. I'll take the elevator. <laughs> but, you know, these are the landmarks. You know, this is the equivalent... Of, you know, like in my country, it's the equivalent of um, the Sydney Harbour, op the Sydney Opera House, or the Sydney Harbour Bridge, you know, being burnt to sunders. Or, for example, you know, let's say the White House being burnt down. Or the Statue of Liberty being burnt down. Or the Tower of London being burnt down. Especially with the, with the Tower of London, because that's older than Notre Dame. You know, or Big Ben burning down. You know, these, these magnificent buildings represent their countries. And they're not only owned by the countries, they're owned to everybody. So it's really, really, you know, it's sad. I really hope that they get specialists in to when they rebuild it to try and get it as get it as close as it was 
the way it was originally built. And I know they can do it. They've done it to other monuments in the past when they have damaged. Heck, they even got the blueprints of some of them for, um, for example, St. Paul's Cathedral. Which, if you want to know what St. Paul's Cathedral, St. Paul's Cathedral is the London version of Notre Dame. And I've also been in there, been in there a couple of times actually, in St. Paul's Cathedral. Very, very big, very, very beautiful. But once again, you know, they have the blueprints. You know, I really hope that they have the blueprints, you know, for Notre Dame. I think considering its heritage and its history and that it went through wars, like, they really got, you know, things sorted in regards to blueprints and all that, finding out exactly how they were built and put extra guards around, you know, St. Paul's Cathedral from when the Nazis were, when the Germans were bombing London during the Blitz. They did not want um, St. Paul's Cathedral to get it. And it was a miracle that St. Paul's Cathedral never got hit. Never got hit by incendiaries. It was a damn miracle that St. Paul's Cathedral never got hit. And I think the same rule goes with Notre Dame. But history will be what history will be. Is this the end of Notre Dame? No. It will come back and it will probably be back better than ever. So my thoughts go out to France at this moment and to the French people. So to our French viewers, à revoir. Have a great day. If you love this video, please like, subscribe. Have a great day. À revoir. See ya.